Welcome to first and only SaaS talk show featured on LinkedIn. And this is the startup edition episode where I cover founders and entrepreneurs making an impact in this world. And today we're going to talk about bottom-up sales strategies and how they can help SaaS solutions reach a wider B2B audience in less time. Joining us today is a Roman Stanek CEO and co-founder of Good Data. They deliver a higher quality analytics applications to businesses and developers, and they have experienced a couple of amazing developments this year, including a partnership with Visa. If you're watching the show for the first time, check out our LinkedIn company page for access more episodes. And of course, I will leave a link to SaaS Growth Ventures in the comments below. But before we jump into today's interview, I would like to take a moment and talk about bottom-up sales strategies. Bottom-up strategies are more commonly found in the B2C or business-to-consumer market, and selling from the bottom-up means focusing on a smaller sales to larger groups of customers. And when deals are small, they are processed and adopted at faster pace. Bottom-up sales also lead to more predictable sales figures, and teams can utilize additional mass sales methods to spend less time hustling. And this can be a great model for some businesses to business or B2B sales as well. Bottom-up sales strategies, the B2B sector involve approaching lower level management or any potential users of the product. The idea is to start with a few employees in an organization and then offer an amazing and value-packed product. If the product provides value to them, the hope is that they will promote it to their colleagues. Those referrals can also reach managers and lead to wide company implementation. In order for this change of events to happen, you need to ensure that adoption process is quick, easy, and inexpensive. And yes, B2B sales are usually handled with top-down strategies, but bottom-up strategies providing to be a user-friendly and cost-effective way for some companies to reach a wider audience. And here to speak more about bottom-up sales and to share his experience is Roman Stanek, CEO and co-founder of Good Data. Thank you so much for being on the show today, Thank Roman. You. Excellent. So please take a moment to introduce yourself and tell us what your superpower is. So again, uh, Roman Stanek, founder, CEO of Good Data. Um, it's it's a tough question, but you know when I look back at my my you know career, I I would say that my superpower always was a, an ability to see technical uh, technical trends way before they actually make impact, be, before they become known. Uh, my first company, I started my first startup in in 1997 when Java was. I don't know, we're less than a year old, and I built an IDE that still today is one of the top two IDEs in the world. It was just named one of the top 25 uh, Java applications ever written. Uh, my second company was a company called Systinet, and uh, we actually started the whole wave of uh, cloud and, and microservices and so on. And, and a little known fact is that the first paying customer of my second company uh, back in 2002, was a small division of Amazon called AWS. And uh, so that's kind of how early we started with this development, obviously by, you know, it's a, diff uh, it's a, a different story by now. But uh, in the last last uh, company I started, you know, my current company, Good Data, um, uh, is all about data in the cloud. And I think, again, you know, you see the effect that's happening today with all of the IPOs that are happening in uh, data moving to the cloud. But uh, we started 10 years ago and, and we are now in a good place uh, with the product and the strategy that we will talk about today. Beautiful, amazing superpower. Now let's talk for a moment about your current company, Good Data. In the last uh, six to 12 months, what traction have you hit that you're most excited about and why this achievement being so important to you? So, so the biggest one, you mentioned it uh, you know, in, the, in the introduction, we actually uh, closed a major partnership and investment in Visa. Um, it, took, it took about 18 months. It, it, it's, it's not easy to get uh, 
um, you know, uh, to get the trust of one of the top uh, brands in the world in terms of data analytics. And so that's that's one of the big achievements. Um, the, the thing that kind of I'm also proud about is our focus on, on customer self-service. That's a huge part of this uh, kind of the, the bottom-up uh, sales model. Uh, you also mentioned it, this, this focus on evaluation, self-service evaluation. Uh, without that, uh, there's no bottom-up sales model. And so we invested heavily in, in uh, self-service and, and our freemium models and everything that makes our customers uh, successful with zero touch. And the last piece I'm, I'm super excited is our focus on openness of good data platform. We actually launched a, an open source, a complete um, JavaScript library called uh, Good Data UI that helps our customers to build fairly complex and amazing data-driven application easily with high level of productivity. So uh, those are the three things I'm super proud about. Congratulations to you and the Go Data team. It sounds like you had an amazing year despite the current crazy global conditions. So let's shift the gears for a moment now and talk about go-to-market strategy. What go-to-market strategy have you used to grow revenue? What have you tried? What worked for you? And what did not? So, so we as a company, we started with a top-down go-to-market. Uh, when the product is, is early and uh, some, some of the features are missing, you need consultants, you need some heavy lifting, you need some, uh, some white glove to make customers successful. But as we kind of, as we added more and more features and more, you know, created a complete product and in data and analytics, that's, uh, that's not so easy. We actually shifted into a second go-to market that we added about uh, 18 months ago. And that's very much the, the bottom up go-to market where uh, the product needs to stand on its own. The features need to, uh, you know, need to stand on its own. There is, there is no consultant helping. And uh, that actually required a not, uh, you know, focus on self-service and focus on kind of uh, uh, ability of a product to self-explain and make customers successful independently. And what we learned uh, in, in over the time is that the worst place to be is in a gray zone in the middle where you actually don't have the either, you know, the white glove service and you almost don't have the, the, the self-service product. And that's where customers are not successful. So clear differentiation, clear kind of segmentation of these two go-to markets. That was the biggest uh, uh, lessons learned we learned from the go-to markets. That's a great insight, Roman, and impressive product design. So what about product-led growth strategy when it comes to good data? What have you learned about your customers? And can you share maybe an aha moment? Yeah, it's, it's the product, again, product-led strategy is all about making customers successful uh, with the product independently. And, and what we've learned is that 